So the second question talks about show that the uh, shown is the triangle with the area of nineteen centimeters square. So what is the yes, area sir. of the formula? Uh, half half base into height. Half base into height. Okay. Now over here, what is base? What is height? Uh, base is uh, six plus x plus six. And height is x plus five. And what is the area? Area is nineteen centimeter square. So just substitute that. So in the area I will substitute area that is nineteen. Okay, equals to x plus five. Sorry, half is remaining. Half multiply x plus five multiply x plus six. Is that something clear? Yeah. So I'll just shift this two to the other side. I will be getting thirty-eight. Now multiply these two. X square. X square plus six plus six x five x plus thirty-six. Thirty. Thirty. So thirty-eight uh, to x square plus eleven x plus thirty. Okay. Yeah. So over here, zero equals to x square plus eleven x minus eight. I just shifted thirty eight to the other side and subtracted mm -hmm. it from thirty. This is my important equation. So and can you? Can, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Can you sir, solve? I... So I'm just moving uh, on. Values are x one x value is zero point six eight and uh, minus eleven. So which one is acceptable? Minus eleven. It is minus negative x is not acceptable. Now, how is it possible? Um, Value of side is negative. If I put over here negative eleven plus six, it will give me negative uh -huh. five. Is it possible? No. So we will only take the positive value. Okay, got it. In justification, in criteria D, justification you have to analyze and tell. Since negative side is not possible, hence negative hmm. values are rejected. Okay. Okay. So please make sure you solve the value of x on your own by using quadratic formula. That I'm not going to yes. discuss. Let us focus on the next question. A rectangular field. So whenever I see a figure rectangular, so I draw a rectangle. Okay, so draw a rectangle. Mm. The rectangular field is fifteen meter long, so that means the so width of it is meter different. longer than the width. So over here, comparison is happening. So when comparison mm. is happening, that means I have to take one value of the x. So which one should I take x? No, uh, length or breadth? Length. The rectangular field is fifteen longer than the width, so breadth I will take x. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I have to write. Let width be x. Therefore, length equals to x plus fifteen. Is this thing mm. clear? Yeah, and which is equal to and the area. Area is equals to eight hundred. Yes or no? Hmm. Now, what is the formula for area? Length into breadth. So make sure you write that. So area is yes, eight hundred. Length is x plus fifteen multiplied. 
multiplied by x, x square plus 15x. So you got your quadratic equation. So that's all we have to do. Question is, you have to find out length. So you have to find out the value of x. x use, use quadratic formula. Understood. Use One quadratic three. formula to find out. Any doubt? No, sir. Let me copy this thing. Greater. Yeah. Area of the rectangle B is 4 centimeters square greater than the rectangle A. So, what is the hmm. score? What is the score? The area. No. Area of the rectangle A, sorry, rectangle B is 4 centimeters square greater than the area of A. Who is greater? Who is greater? B is greater than A. So first plus. of all, we need to understand B is greater than A. That means hmm. area of B minus area of A is equals to 4. Make sense? Okay. Yes or no? Yeah. Area of B and... Uh, So area of B minus area of 4, uh, sorry, area of A is equals to 4. Now we will hmm. solve it. How do we find you area of B? Length into breadth for both of them. So x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 1 minus 2x multiplied eight. by x plus 1 is for 8. Oh, oh. Is that from clear? Yes. So 2x multiplied by x minus 1 equals to x plus 5 plus uh, multiplied by x plus 1 equals to 4. So let us multiply this thing quickly. So 2x square minus 2. 2x. 2x, sorry. Uh, and then minus... minus, put a bracket. Because what will happen, it will change the sign. Ah. So over here, x square. Plus x. Uh... Plus 5x. Plus 5. equals to 4. Understood? Yes, sir. So, 2x square minus 2x. Let's open the bracket and change the sign. So, minus x square minus x minus 5 minus 5 equal to 4. And, then we can I'm, take... I'm bringing 4 to the side and equals to 0. Hmm. All some of the things x square x square can be solved, it will become x square only. Mm. Okay, uh, now minus 2x seven minus x five x. So all are negative, so it is just addition five, six, seven, eight. So minus eight, eight. minus x minus nine. So can you see this beautiful answer is here? Okay, I understood it now. And then find the value of x. Okay, this is easy. This is easy now? Yeah. When they're asking show that, that means your solution will reach to this thing. Okay, got it. Okay, so you just need to analyze this statement. Yes, sir. And finding the value of x, I guess quadratic equations... If you want, I can share one video also for you. How to use quadratic formula once again. If you don't want, it's absolutely fine.
Okay, sir, I got it. Uh, one more doubt. So over here, uh, there is a function given. Don't get distracted uh, with this image. Okay. okay, sir. Image is just to um, make you visualize. Okay, so the function is given over here. And there is a value given over here. Okay, these two things are very important. So let me write the function for you. Function is x minus 3 square plus 2. Okay. And they are saying when I am inserting a and I am getting 11. Yes or no? Okay. So that means x value is a. Is this thing clear? So when they're saying that f a is equal to a, that means x is equal to a. Yes. So I will substitute the value as a. So therefore, it will become a 3 whole square plus 2 equals to 11. Understood? Yeah. Now I will shift 2 to the other side. A minus 3 whole square, 11 minus 2. A minus 3 whole square equals to 9. Shift square to the other side. A minus 3 under root 9. A equals to? And you can shift 3. A is equal to plus 3. Minus 3. Hmm. Plus 3. So A value can be either 6 or 0. Plus 3 plus okay. 3 plus 6 minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So over here A value can Where be. Where is the plus uh, this one come from? Plus minus 3 and the. Okay. Explain it to you. When I'm saying x square equals to 9. Okay. It means that x multiplied by x equals to 9. Yeah? Yes or no? Yeah. That means I need two numbers whom I multiply should give me 9. So it is possible that it can be 3 multiplied by 3 equals to 9 or minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 equals to 9. Therefore, my okay. x value can be 3 or minus 3. Okay, sir. That's why from here I wrote plus minus 3. Okay? Yes, sir. So, a value can be 6 or 0. So, the meeting is going to over in some time if it gets over. So, the class is over. Okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Now, if you want to test, or you can say check, so you just put the values in this function. So, f6. So, 6 minus 3 whole square plus 2. What is the answer? 3 square plus 2. 9 plus 2, 11. Yes or no? Yeah. Let us check with zero. Uh, zero, if I put. You get two. Minus three equals to minus three square plus two. Which is nine, nine plus two equal to eleven. Now, very important thing which you missed, I guess. X can greater than 3. X can be greater than 3. That means A value can be greater than 3. Therefore, my final answer should be 6. 0 is not allowed. Clear? Because it has to be greater than 3. Yes. See, x value can be greater than 3. And over here, we understood that uh, 
x is equals to a hmm. hence a value should be greater than c hence a value is 6 okay sir all this was test hmm yeah this is the real answer hmm. you can copy this thing So in this particular question, the question is asking uh, 488 and where is the question? Question is it's below. 488 and 506. 488 and 506. Yes or no? Yeah. So 488 is somewhere here. Yes. Yeah. And zero six as well. So they are asking between Q3 and Q1. So let me tell you each quartile is like 25%. 25%. 25%. And 25%. So from this to this, 50% is the answer. Okay. okay. Is this each thing quota, clear? Is, yes, yeah. Each quota this much is 24. And they are asked, they are asked between. So when they ask between, yes. between that 4, 488 and 506, what is the percentage? That's 25 plus 25, yes. which is. Not 25%, 50%. See, from the minimum yeah, point, yeah. From, from the minimum point to the Q1, it is 25%. Hmm. From Q1 to median, it is 25%. From median to Q3, it is 25%. Q3 to maximum point, it is 25%. So they are asking from this point to this point, hence it is 50%. 50%. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So, see you in the next class. All the best. Thank you, sir.